Bring it on, cuckoos. I've been doing hair for 17 years, so I've seen a thing or two. So a good hairstylist friend of mine brought me into her team to do a really big, to do a really big photo shoot for Maybelline. Super excited, you know, this is great exposure. I'm gonna be with the biggest names in the industry, the toppest models. We're doing hair, we go to lunch, and after lunch, I felt like my stomach was starting to like bubble a little bit. As a hairdresser, it's really intimidating when you have to go to the bathroom, because first of all, there's no time for that at all. If you have to go number two, that's the worst. What are you gonna do? Blow it up in there? Nobody wants to blow up a salon. It's like a revolving door. I get goosebumps when I have to go take a shit in front of people. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going through it. So I'm sweating like bridesmaids when she's like going crazy and I'm like, I don't gotta do this, I don't gotta do this. And I'm like, let me just go. And I tuck my ass in and I go to our little own private bathroom. So nobody's gonna be really be there or whatever. So I go in there and a little voice in my head was like, don't you try it. You better not do it. I promise you, you're gonna regret this. And I'm like, okay. And I meditated. I do a little fart here and there. And it was done. I washed my hands. I opened the door. And guess who was there? Adriana motherfucking Lima. Up in there looking at me. And I'm like... She was so nice, she was so beautiful. I was like really thanking the shit gods that I did not take a shit. I dodged a bullet. The next day, her team wasn't there to do her hair. So our team was chosen to style her hair and I'm like, what are the odds of that? So she walks in, she looks at me right in the eye, she sits down and she's like, hey, I remember you. And she shakes my hand and her eyes kind of looked at me like they was like, what's your number? Can I talk to you? because we need to have some making out sessions and drinking sessions. But she really said was, I remember you. And I was like, thank you. And I shaked her hand and I was like, you would have definitely remembered me too if I would have taken that shit. I was in the salon. I just started doing hair extensions, just got certified, super excited. Couldn't wait to start doing them. It's advertising like crazy. Finally, I get this consultation. She makes an appointment, she comes in, I'm all excited about it. So she sits in my chair and I go over all of the in and outs of hair extensions. How to put them in, how often you could wash them, everything I could possibly do. At the end, I asked her, is there anything that I didn't answer that you need to know? She said, well, do you mind if I pull your hair? I had extensions in at the time. I was kind of like, why? We're sitting there on the bench and she is pulling my hair. I asked her, you know, I just told you they're not gonna come out with the brush. She then tells me, well, I like it rough in the bedroom and I just wanna make sure none of these guys are gonna pull my hair out. So while she's pulling my hair, I'm looking around and I see all the girls in the salon. They are just looking like, what the fuck is going on? I'm looking back at them like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> she was really happy and left a deposit. Hope it all stayed in okay. So a client calls my salon, her name is Madison, and asks for a blowout and some makeup. But she asks for someone fun. They give her to me. Madison walks in and she's got this beaded pink gown down to the floor. A giant pink fur, I'm talking like Cruella de Vil. Imagine her eyebrows up in her hairline, completely vaseline Her entire face was wet. Walks in, it's like, I'm with a guy, I don't know what his name is. I'm the only guy in the salon, so I'm like, oh, it's me. And everyone's like, at the desk is like, ooh, sorry, didn't know that this was happening. So I bring her back to my chair. She tells me that she's from Las Vegas and that she owns two condominiums on the Las Vegas Strip. I take her back, I get her washed, and she starts in front of other clients asking me if I know a weed dealer. And I know that it's legal over there on the West Coast, but like, I don't know, you still don't ask that in front of other clients. So I was like, oh no, I don't do that. So I'm sorry, I don't really have any of those connections here in Jersey where it's illegal. She like leans back in this thing and she's like, but what about the white stuff? Where can I get that? And then chuckles. And I like try to ignore that. I'm washing her hair and she like knows my name. So she's like, Steve, Steve, Steve. And I'm like, what, what? I don't do cocaine. I'm not gonna give you cocaine even if I had it. I, I don't know what to do. So I just keep ignoring her. I bring her back to my chair. I blow her out. She decides to tease her hair up to the gods. She's about to leave and she turns around and not places her Amex card. I'm talking about throws her Amex card literally onto me. And it's like, can you pay for me? And I was like, yeah, I guess. So I go up and I pay for her. I sign her name and everything. She comes up, she takes one of the cans of hairspray off of our uh, retail section and she literally starts spraying her hair without paying for it. I was like, oh, did you want to take that? She's like, oh no, I just wanted to use some hairspray. And I was like, okay, great. 
great. Keep in mind, this woman is absolutely at least 80 years old. And she's telling me that her boyfriend, who's a model, is shopping for lingerie for her. There is not one lingerie shop in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. So she's telling me this and she leaves and I'm telling everyone the story because I literally cannot believe this. And one of the stylists says, oh yeah, she actually used to own a massage parlor up the street. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And I was like, she doesn't live in Vegas? And she was like, no. So she doesn't live in Vegas. She doesn't have all these things. I find a piece of her dress, the beads, by my station. So obviously it's not that expensive. She owned a massage parlor that got shut down because they were giving happy endings. It's tough to be a hairstylist sometimes. This industry, you're gonna have some crazy people, you're gonna have some wackos, but you're also gonna have some amazing people and amazing stories. That one Madison is worth it. You will see really crazy and here even crazier. I love my career. Bring it on, cuckoos. Hey, Unsolved is on a new channel. And now your part? Subscribe, Subscribe here. here. That was my part.